very, very excited for today. I promised her that today would be her day because the last hike I did in Zion on Angel's Landing, dogs are definitely not allowed on. They're not allowed on any trails in national parks, which is a bummer, but that's okay. We found a trail on all trails called the Guacamole Trail. It doesn't seem to be too far away from where we're camping here. Currently making our way out of the camping area. For the past five nights, I believe last night was the fifth night we stayed here on the Sheep Ridge Camping Road. It's a pretty nice little spot. Just outside Laverkin, Utah, which is just outside St. George, Utah. And it's only like a half hour-ish from Zion, so it's a pretty nice little central spot there. But um, I did look a lot around on all trails this morning to try to find a trail that did not have water. Because currently in this area, Southwest Utah, I've been seeing a lot of warnings for the toxic algae bloom in the water. And knowing my dog, she only will drink water on a trail when we're hiking, if it's from a river or standing water. Even if I give her water, she doesn't really like to drink it, but she'll drink all of whatever water she can. Right? Yeah, she doesn't want to admit it. But yeah, we're currently making our way to the trailhead. I guess there's some petrified logs up there. I think it's a mountain bike trail, but a lot of people reported that they hiked on it and it seems to be pretty cool. So let's go check it out. Very slowly making our way down this very, 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 very bumpy road. Although it is beautiful. It seems like it goes right through someone's ranch. But we're down in this valley here. I'm definitely a major, major huge fan of the landscape around here. But we're about 0.7 miles away. Let's see how much more bumpy this road gets. We're almost there. After a little bit of searching, I was able to finally find this. That's the sign they give you. Doesn't really stick out too much, but nice little map. Parking area seems pretty promising. All right, come on, let's go. Mia. She's gonna lead the way. So after a little bit of uh, going the wrong way a bunch of times, we finally have gotten ourselves established on the trail. And apparently Mia knows which way to go. She probably had her mountain bike out here a couple times in a past life because she's leading the way pretty well. I would get lost without her. Well, this is pretty cool. Careful there, mountain goat. That's the road that we drove up on in to get into this trail. Mia, what do you think? Pretty cool, huh? So we're about three miles into the trail and we're just getting to where the trail starts to border Zion. So all that inside there is the national park, which most likely being Sunday is an absolute mob scene today. And we have this trail right on the outskirts of the park all to ourselves, which is pretty cool, especially since this one. That one can join me today. She's having the time of her life. Gonna probably push on for about another mile or two and then stop and have a snack. We are getting to a pretty cool area to just chill out at.
Mia, this way. Hey, come on. Up. So it looks like some dark clouds are rolling in. And uh, I was gonna go a little bit further after we had a little snack there, but I'd rather not be out here and find out it is gonna rain today. Time to head back to the van. We made it. Mia? Mia approves of the guacamole trail. We're back at home sweet home on wheels. Let's see what we did here. 7.3 miles and took us about just over two and a half hours. And man, props to anyone who can rip through this trail on a mountain bike because if I didn't have all trails, it would have been pretty tricky to stay on course there. Um, especially there's a lot of sections like all rocky like this and you really can't tell where to go but we did it it was fun we're back at the van i think tonight i gotta work on eating some leftovers in my fridge because i'll probably head out of utah today is sunday i'll probably head out tomorrow or tuesday so i'd like to do a grocery store stock up before we hit the road because i'm not really too sure which way i'll take and i don't really know when I'll come in contact with the grocery store again. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe on all my videos. Hope you guys had fun today on the guacamole trail. I surely did, and I know Mia did. Mia, ready to go? We're finally gonna have one tired pup. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.